Hello guys Saurabh here. So in today's video we'll discuss about ship tonnage measurement, dead weight, gross tonnage, net tonnage, etc. Ship measurement. Highlights are as shown. Weight based are water tank, fuel tank, cargo tank, machine, frame and plate. Volume based are enclosed space for transported cargo and enclosed space for non-transported cargo terms in their short form displacement tonnage standard displacement tonnage sdt dead weight tonnage dwt light weight tonnage lwt gross registered tonnage grt net registered tonnage nrt conversation of volume volume based 100 cubic feet equals 1 ton weight based measurement displacement tonnage the displacement tonnage is nothing more than the total weight of the volume of water a ship displaces when it is sitting in the water imagine you had a large bucket filled to the brim with water now suppose you gently placed a basketball in the bucket causing some of the water in the bucket to spill out once the basketball had stabilized and was freely floating in the bucket, the weight of the water that was displaced is equal to the displacement or weight of the basketball. Standard displacement tonnage. Standard displacement tonnage is basically the same thing as displacement tonnage with one minor difference. When calculating standard displacement tonnage, you subtract the weight of any fuel and potable water carried on board the ship. Dead weight tonnage. Dead weight tonnage is the weight in tons of all the cargo, fuel, dry provisions, supplies, etc. carried on board the ship. In other words, it is the displacement tonnage of the vessel minus the lightweight tonnage. We'll see lightweight tonnage soon. Deadweight tonnage is a good indication for ship owners and clients of how much revenue the vessel is capable of generating. If you made it this far, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our video. This encourages us to make more informative videos. Next. Lightweight tonnage. Lightweight tonnage is best described as the weight of the ship when it was built in the shipyard including all framing, machinery, decking, etc. However, lightweight tonnage does not include the weight of any consumables such as fuel, water, oil, or supplies. Gross registered tonnage. Gross registered tonnage is a measurement of volume of all enclosed spaces on a ship with 100 cubic feet equals to 1 ton. For instance, if the total cubic volume of all the enclosed spaces on a ship were 340,000 cubic feet, the gross registered tonnage will most likely be 3,400 gross tons. 340,000 cubic feet divided by 100 cubic feet or ton equals 3,400 gross tons. Gross tonnage or gross tons is what you'll see most often on official ship documents and certificates, but you'll also set net tons and deadweight tons expresses as dwt used from time to time net weight registered net registered tonnage is also a measurement of volume however you only consider the volume of actual cargo storage areas when dividing the cubic volume in feet by 100 to get your tonnage this includes any tanks cargo holds etc that are normally used for transporting cargo so this brings to end of our video. Subscribe and comment on topic you want to be explained and we'll surely try reply to your comments. Thank you and peace out.